Turns out, remember all that scuttlebutt about the gifts that um, former Virginia Governor Bob McDonald and his wife uh, received from uh, this guy, uh, Johnny Williams Sr., a former cigarette manufacturer that now sells dietary supplements under the name Star Scientific? <laughs> well... Apparently, after McDonald, uh, McDonald won his uh, re-election, remember, this guy was going to be the prominent um, uh, candidate for the Republicans in 2016. He was shortlist for VP, and I think this stuff actually probably sunk him. Uh, that, and I think um, he also uh, was a little bit transvaginal... Um, uh, in he his... wasn't into women in the workplace unless it was his wife working a bribery scheme. Nice. <laughs> um, and so it turns out that uh, he has now been indicted and his wife has been indicted on uh, federal uh, charges, um, some which uh, sound like bribery and certainly include um, the uh, lying to federal investigators. Um, prosecutors contend that the then first couple arranged access for this guy, Williams, who was trying to push uh, some type of uh, special dietary supplements. <laughs> um, they uh, arranged access for Williams to st top state officials, allowed the governor's mansion to be used for a launch party for a company pill not approved by the FDA and attended star events designed to boost the company's prestige particularly with university researchers with whom the company was trying to build credibility. In other words, they sold the credibility of their being governor and first lady for about $165,000 in cash, uh, in loans and gifts. And they illegally failed to disclose to banks the loans that he had received from this guy, Williams, who apparently uh, refinanced some of their home loans and said, don't worry about the paperwork, because that's just like business, right? Yeah. Whenever you get a loan to refinance from a guy who you just met after you got reelected, when your wife went to him to see if she could get $20,000 to pay for a new um, inaugural gala dress, it is customary for that guy not to require any type of paperwork for the loan. We're business people. We don't do this on paper. We're not. We don't we, sign papers. We don't sir. sign. We're not lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> the couple uh, could face a maximum of 30 years in prison, though they probably would serve far less. They are scheduled to be arraigned on Friday. Um, here are some of the, um, the most wonderful exchanges and revelations, uh, from the Bob McDonnell, uh, indictment. You know that, uh, McDonnell got a Rolex. <laughs> Apparently this all stems from the fact that he was over leveraged with his, uh, I don't know, three or four houses or properties. Um, and so of course... What you do is ask for a Rolex when you need help with that. <laughs> because that's Rolex what, never hurt anybody, eh? <laughs> that's what responsible makers do instead of the takers. Indeed. Maureen McDonald wrote in an email, um, I need to talk to you about inaugural clothing budget. I need answers, and Bob is screaming about the thousands I'm charging up in credit card debt. We are broke. I have an unconscionable amount in credit card debt already, and this inaugural is killing us. I need answers, and I need help. I need to get this done. Uh huh. She wrote this to an aide, I guess, uh, in uh, encouraging him to get Williams to, um, to pay for the dress. Apparently, she took a rain check. Um, the McConnells were uh, deeply in debt. She apparently, uh, uh, Maureen McDonald met Williams privately at the executive mansion 
in May 2011 and said uh, she told Williams that she and her husband were having severe financial difficulties. They didn't know how they were going to pay for their uh, upcoming wedding expenses of their daughter. She asked Williams for a $50,000 loan as well as Fifteen grand to pay for the remaining catering costs for the wedding. And a Rolex on the side so the old man looks sharp. <laughs> she also told Williams that she could help Star Scientific, but she needed financial assistance. How could anyone say that's quid pro quo? It's not like she said, pay me. She said she needs financial assistance to achieve her goals of helping him. Apparently, um, another question was how uh, much Bob McNaughtle knew about the $120,000 in total payments that Williams had made to him. Because apparently Maureen McDonald was the one who sort of arranged all of it. And Bob sort of found out on the slide, like, wait, 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 what? You got one hundred twenty grand, And he claimed, or through a spokesman, that he had not been aware of the first $50,000 until it had been spent. But, ap- but apparently, <laughs> but apparently then, uh, awesome. Williams went on to say, <laughs> to say, um, he said, he said, two days later, Bob forwarded an email to Maureen that he had gotten from his brother who said, hey, I spoke to Maureen last week about this guy who's going to help us out with the money. (laughs) And so Bob wrote to Maureen, hey, who are we talking about that's helping us and talking to uh, uh, your brother? Is it Williams, he wrote? Maureen replied the same day, just got home, I'll talk to you upstairs. (laughs) So then, after that point, uh, Bob, who was really, must have been really outraged at this. You know, it sort of appears that he was outraged, but what I really think it was like, holy crap, this dude's giving us money? Because then, in 2012, McDonald texts to Williams, hey, per voicemail, would like to see if you could extend another 20K loan for this year. <laughs> Call if possible, and I'll ask uh, my brother-in-law to send instructions. So it wasn't outrage, like, sweetheart, you can't take money from this guy. It was, sweetheart, you were able to get how much money from this guy? I can't believe you haven't secured me a Rolex yet. Williams responded by text, done. Tell me who to make it out. And we'll end uh, address, Will FedEx. <laughs> and then apparently what McDonald did was they... <laughs> In 2011, Bob McDonald emails Virginia's Secretary of Health. And then Maureen McDonald met with Williams at the governor's mansion and one of the secretary's senior policy advisors. At that, at that meeting, apparently, Williams floated the idea of having Virginia government employees use one of Star Scientific's new uh, dietary supplements called Anatablock. <laughs> they wanted to use the government employees as a control group for research studies. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and then, as part of this project, to somehow get Anna and a bottle like or whatever it was called to be endorsed tacitly by the Virginia state government. McDonald is meeting with Virginia secretary of administration and one of the secretary's aides to talk about the state employees health plan and a way to reduce costs. Now, as you all know, anabolic or antibolic is a great anti-inflammatory dietary supplement. <laughs> so McDonald in the middle of this meeting just goes, oh, hey, wait a second. I got, I got some anabolic right here. <laughs> this stuff, 
I'm Governor Bob McDonald. <laughs> this guy, this stuff has been great for my health. I take it every day. Maybe you guys should reach out to these people because maybe it could cut our health care costs because it's such a wonderful, it's like a magic wonder drug. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think those two guys said to each other after uh, McDonald left the room? Like, did he just try and pimp that uh, supplement onto, onto, onto the entire state government? And the other guy was like, De Niro, he was like, I think he did. I think, I think he, he did. did. <laughs> and then apparently uh, Maureen tried to cover her tracks by pretending that uh, Williams was an old friend of Bob McDonald's. <laughs> Redefining the term old as meaning someone we just met about uh, 12 to 24 months ago and has been very generous. I round up the number of someone I've known for a while by how much money they've given me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like with each bribe in a year of knowing them, I actually known him since childhood. For every $5,000 I get from a friend, that is worth seven dog years in friendship. That's just the way I did it. You got 100000 We've been best of friends since childhood. All right, let's try and go through uh, some of these uh, IMs. And for the highest membership level, you can be Bob McDonald. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs>